Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off beating a big old robot that fell out of an even bigger freaking robot. By the way, that was a weird intro. And, uh, yeah, we're just supposed to be exploring this bunker, trying to figure out what the Zero Dawn project is, and what's happening, and what the heck is going on. Um, well, it wasn't all that hard, surprisingly. But I do need to restock on some things, because I did experiment poking at them and prodding them with different types of arrows. Oh. As that, let's continue on exploring the bunker. There's some purple lighting here. It's very good ambiance. See anything? Is this just a hallway? Yes, it is. Did I do this? Yeah, those two side rooms were just nothingness. Okay, just making sure we did everything. Um... I was trying to analyze if that metal devil out there looked like... Ooh, I thought I could climb through that for a second. Uh, if that metal devil out there looked like it was fighting another one, it looks like its hands are clasped onto other ones and they're pushing back and forth on each other. Could have been its own hands and it was just trying to rip... Th I'm trying to pick this up with like an E, but you just look at it. Could have been trying to like rip the facility out by like reaching around it and trying to rip... But I don't know. What is this? Biosphere degradation. 2065 Confidential. Chief Finance. Despite increased tactical proficiency of elite and civil guard units and many hard won engagements, the Central European, Antarctic, and Pacific reach theaters. The first plague rate of advance has not slowed, nor has its biomass consumption rate. Damage to the biosphere has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and growing. It was worse by the day. Oh, yeah, that's right. These guys saved the world back then, and now they basically destroyed it. Extinction timeline projections remain unchanged with OAC predicting that mid-November 2065 annihilation of exposed human populations in February 2066 extinction of microbiotic land organizations. Wow. Organisms by the end of March 2066 and the extinction of marine life in early 2068. Continued secrecy. Reproject Zero Dawn, the utter silence regarding its mechanisms of action and completion date make it impossible to predict Zero Dawn's impact or lack of impact on extinction timeline. Atmospheric collapse. Atmospheric oxygen depletion and toxic, toxic emissions remain the greatest environmental threat to operation and during victory as well as other wild, wider civilian population and animal life operational atmospheric collapse AOC is currently predicted for mid-November 2065, after which military personnel will require rebreather apparatuses to operate in the open and civilians only. They will only be able to survive inside sealed structures. The requirements for air scrubbing and recycling facilities is addressed in Addendum A linked to this report. Damn. Portable water shortages. Major water treatment facilities are already struggling to process water sources compromised by rainfalls. Heavy contamination by toxins emitted by the consumption of eastern of the eastern hemisphere following the necessary shutdown of all nano scrubbing functionality. Wastewater recycling is already beyond capacity. Damn. Military response escalation. Uh, Ideal link to this uh, addenda. Yeah, addenda link to this document cover the short-term effects of scorched earth engagements in defense of the western seaboard and the ongoing effects of. Oceanic economic zones use of nuclear weapons to delay the enemy's initial advance across Pacific theater data corrupted Oh, we win scorched earth. That's never a good thing Yeah, those predictions are not sounding so pretty. This is like 3000 66 60 something it's the year I'm in arguably plus or minus some There's no other data's in here that I see Gotta love apocalyptic things where you don't know what happened and you're trying to figure them out. Another data terminal. We got a box. Blue box. I'd like to search. I'd have to ditch something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always never have enough space. What is this? Surecom EVZDXX1XOO data corrupted minimal. Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. 
It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I sent a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that... were it not for your actions... our actions... there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. I... I don't even know what to say to that. That's it's fucked up that he had to do it. Times of war, and great desperation. People we have sung as heroes had to do horrible things to preserve our ways of life. They're honored. The fact that he wants to admit it and not let it go unknown and off the record and he feels bad for it but understood that it needed to be done anyways. That's very sobering and sombering and like heartfelt and like that was I understand it's a video game, but like that was very well done. That was a little touch that they didn't have to do, but like that brought them to real people like real hard. Like that is just so Oof. That was good. And the voice actors did fucking excellent with that. Damn. That's fucked up. I mean it's true. He knew he was just sacrificing anyone and everyone with one last hope. And I'm assuming they left the planet. Or went to the center or something. Either up or down. Fuck, man. That's messed up. Let's find out. Activate the hollow projector. Face through the chair. That was, that was one of the best recordings I've heard in the game. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? <laughs> You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting fleet this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this? We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it and it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, 
I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What I already know what it is. Do? What did Elizabeth do? I don't know. Maybe they set something off to wipe or reset Earth? Preserved a few humans and fucking let her rip? Set up a self cloning machine of humans to just spit people out occasionally? I don't know. But like that. This, that whole scene right there is like all the other commanders being like there has to, like it must be hard for a human to reconcile with like there is no alternative like this is the end it's coming it's dead there's nothing else we can do and no leader was giving any options to deal with the fucking problem no one had any other ideas so she's the only damn one he had to go with it everyone else can shut the fuck up and fall in line what that felt like or come up with a goddamn better idea because i don't think any of them wanted to do it but damn they fuck up still no closer knowing what it was though place. now i just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about i've checked my data and located the base that's the good news and the bad it's directly underneath the citadel the palace at sunfall the capital of the shadow karja not exactly convenient. Already knew the that. The is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? <laughs> uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. So much lost knowledge. Also, he has like skin modifications in his head, like in a partially crushed in skull. He's got them all in his arms. I don't remember any of the civilizations here doing body modifications that heavily, right? Uh, is that crazy? Go to the logo. Knew there was something over here. Freaking called it the episode before. Pretty sure it was a power core here, here, here. So that would give me the three. Was that just like my armor suit to prep me for end game stuff? Let's. Why not fast travel at this time? Why not? Going into like down from here. Well, now haven't I found myself in a sticky little fucking situation? I don't think this is how I'm supposed to get down here. But we did. Let's just do it. <coughs> No, not dead. I feel like I should have been killed. It's like seven times. I really feel like there's another way down from up there. That I'm supposed to take that's not this way. With the game's janky ass jump mechanics. Whatever. No comment. There's that skin deformation or snow that everyone Quick talked way about. Down. Is it though? Guaranteed 100% not the way you're supposed to get down. 
Um, yeah, knew it. Just what kind's a little bit of a jank there. Okay. You know, go back to whatever the load spot is. Yeah, right here. Coco, coco, coco. Um, this row. Now, how am I gonna yep. get down from here? Huh. This should be quite the ride. Magical zip line that goes through solid metal objects. It's fine though. Pretend it's not a thing. We'll be one hell of a fun zip line, but that's just not how zip lines were. Oh, damn. Well, that's official, everyone. She's just a lucky son of a bitch. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Just pure fucking dumb luck that that was her. Like, there was no skill involved. She just jumped. She rode it. There was. Bo shenanigans. So, fine. It's all good, I guess, but. I'm going pure dumb luck on that one. Damn. I do wonder what the Zero Dawn is, but I know they're going to save that secret to the very end. Because that's that's the only thing driving the game at this point, I think. Well, and figuring out who and what I am. You guys aren't going to come at me, right? King who had his own father murdered. Uh, because that's what most kings have done in the history of humanity. It's fine. I don't even know that number for sure. I can't say that 100%, but like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have gone up and down in power schemes by killing their fathers. And that's kind of why a whole bunch of kings and dictatorships and other things have a history of just kind of killing their loved ones or anyone that could possibly do said thing to them. That's fine, though. Well, like, I mean, you, kid's supposed to become greater than you, and the only way you can become greater than you is if you aren't in the way, if the only way up is your job position. So, and that whole king and dictatorship thing has some room for improvement in it. That thing really just doesn't care about me. I still want to know what pacified had made all these other machines. It had to be Zero Dawn. What killed off all the robots? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm just trying to whack my brain of all the pieces. I want to put it together beforehand, but at the same time, I want the surprise. You're very close now. Yes, Sam. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there? Hmm. Uh, magical robots that want to see you defeat their overlord. Let's just go with that one, right? Resources. We're going to do some inventory management here. Pop you full. Sell some stuff because I'm pretty sure I picked up a whole bunch of shenanigans. Um, I expected more shenanigans. Deathbringer lens. Trading with merchants. Like, I don't really want to get rid of a Deathbringer lens. I feel like they're not that easy to acquire. Question mark. Am I crazy? Am I wrong? I, I just, I never use the flowers. I, I keep them for whatever, literally whatever reason, but I, I never used them. I don't craft them. I don't make the resist pots. I don't even pretend to want the resist pots. I just don't use chill water. Sell all my items. Still only like 19 slots now. It's better than before, but ugh. you're not a purple. Damage, damage. Three of those. Terror coils. Basic terror can go away. Air freeze. The handling is nice. Damage is nice. Plane fires. Get the hell out of my inventory. Do do do. Shock and freeze. One of these is new. Fifteen handling. So I just like keeping three of each in case I want to equip another weapon with them. So kind of my thing. Oh. That hurts, but I just don't like. I don't like plain. 
same things. You can just have multiple or like secondaries. And the secondary stats are just so worth it. So like yeah, I'm getting rid of my highest single stat ones, but total points versus single stat. I would justify that away. But either way, everyone. Wait. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we going to do that? Oh, Pushing wait. Buttons. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. Any more smart-ass comments? We're out of time for this episode. She's unhappy with him. But either way, everyone, I really do appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, check out my Twitch, all the other social medias, and I will see you in the next episode. Dig big out! <clears throat> and yes, you're supposed to read my mind to know what the other social medias are. I'm aware of my fallacies, I guess. <laughs>